Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Cadiddle Hopper here. Oh, well, I'll just use my short name for today. Miss Shortel, so happy you're here to visit with me. Let's read a story together. Today I have an old favorite story called Mrs. McNosh Hangs Up Her Wash. There's a lot of rhyming words in here. Uh, this book was written by Sarah Weeks and the pictures are done by Nadine Bernard Westcott. Let's enjoy. Mrs. McNosh hangs up her wash. Each Monday at dawn, Mrs. Nellie McNosh brings out a barrel and does a big wash. Did you help your mom wash today? I hope so. She works hard. It takes her all morning, and when the sun's high, she hangs what she's washed on the clothesline to dry. She hangs up the dresses, she hangs up the shirts, she hangs up the underwear, the nightgowns, and skirts. She hangs up the stockings, she hangs up the shoes, she rings out the paper, and she hangs up the news. I never hung the news before. She hangs up her dog, and his dish, and his bone. She gets a wrong number, she hangs up the phone. Look at her dog, he's so cute. She hangs up a hat and an old wedding gown and two sleepy bats, which she hangs upside down. She hangs up a lamp and a large Christmas wreath and Grandpa McNosh's removable teeth. She hung up his teeth. That's crazy. She hangs up a kite by the tip of its tail. The postman arrives and she hangs up the mail. She hangs till she's hung every last thing in sight including the turkey she roasted last night. Each Monday by dusk, Mrs. Nellie McNosh has finally hung up the last of her wash. She takes off her apron and lets down her hair, then hangs herself up. Dot, dot, dot. Something's coming. She hangs herself up in a comfortable chair. Did you sit in a comfortable chair today? I hope you have. I wanted to show you in this book, they also talk about spring jobs, things you do in springtime. And on Thursday will be the first day of spring. Let's see what they say. This man mows the lawn. What tool is he using? Ah, you got it. Lawnmower. Do you have one of those? This girl waters plants. What tool is she using? That's right. Watering can. Sprinkling can. This woman plants flowers. What tool is she using? That's right, it's a small shovel. Sometimes they call that a trowel. The boy builds a birdhouse. What tool is he using? Oh, you got it, a hammer. Do you have one of those? Make sure you have somebody help you with it. This boy paints a birdhouse. 
What tool is he using? Ah, we like to use those in school, don't we? Paintbrush. Have you used these tools? What jobs do these tools help you do? Have you used any tools today? Write it down. Send a picture to me through Blooms. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining Mrs. Shortel in the Read Aloud. Bye-bye.